other games had the same concept, genre, and plot as the P3 game, even though none of those contents of these categories are original, and other games like Expedition Agartha have all three that are similar. The notice then states that within a mere 10 months of informing of forming Iron Mace, its demo slash test version of Dark and Darker became publicly available in August 2022. The notice states that it is impossible for Iron Mace to have developed Dark and Darker in such a short time frame without using Nexon's trade secrets <coughs> and confidential information, again, without offering any proof. And then their response is, just because it may be difficult for a large bureaucratic company such as Nexon to develop games in, a in such a short time frame, does not mean that it's impossible for another studio, big, small, new or old, to develop games quickly. Holy shit, stand back, they're preaching right now. You don't have to be bilingual to understand this language of facts that they're laying down right now. They're saying that this is an outrageous claim just because you are a mismanaged corporation that can't roll out games in a meaningful time frame doesn't mean every video game company is as poorly managed as you are. Games can be developed in a timely fashion without ever playing dirty or stealing from other places, and they're absolutely right. A lot of these big studios are extremely slow with updates or anything at all for their games, and it's not because it's impossible, it's because they're just not managed properly. You see indie games all the time able to make patch upon patch in really quick time frames because they're passionate and they work effectively. And even some big studios do as well, it's not all of them of course, but you see it time and time again for a lot of big ones. This is a very factual statement here, and it's a stupid claim for them to make. There's no way in such a short time frame they can make a game. It takes us 15 years to make Maple Story 1.5, like there's no way, no it doesn't make any sense, they had to have stolen from us. It's stupid. And Iron Mace also calls out the fact that this is generic fantasy shit, right? It is tropey fantasy shit. They even list another game that has all three of these similarities that Nexon lists, which was Expedition Agartha. In this genre, a lot of games are going to bear a lot of resemblance because it's established and has been established for such a long time now. So it's not uncommon or unusual for a lot of these games to have very similar things in them. They even expand on this a bit by saying that they have evidence they'll be releasing soon that shows exactly how they built the game so quickly and efficiently. And I imagine this is going to be like alpha footage of the game during its development. And interestingly enough, I have actually heard a couple of streamers that were talking about this mention that they've seen Dark and Darker when it was still in the alpha. So you can see that it was entirely built like by them from scratch and also using the assets. So it should be a very easy thing for them to prove, and I imagine that's going to be, yet again, another easy layup for them. This statement then goes further, hammering the point home about the file similarity that Nexon's hung up on, explaining that, once again, they are unreal assets for the most part, or general fantasy concepts that, of course, are going to share similar names in the files because they're similar concepts. Nexon then makes the claim that even if they are purchased from the Unreal Marketplace, it doesn't explain why the character assets and all of that are identical to P3. So then they had to explain to them that it's general fantasy shit, so of course it's going to look similar. They're both playing in the same fantasy realm, so the character is obviously going to look similar. And then they touch on why like the concept art looks similar to P3. And I can't even need, I can't even believe this needs to be said, but it did need to, and Iron Mace makes the statement that the character concept artwork for both games were created by the same individual, explaining the similarities in style. Obviously, they have the same artist here that worked on both games, and he's no longer at Nexon, he is now with Iron Mace. It's not like he's going to drastically change his artistic style, so clearly some of the concept art and art pieces are going to bear resemblance. It's the same fucking person who did art. So clearly that explains that. It's not that he stole art from Nexon. It's just the same goddamn no guy doing the art, and he has a, an individual style. I love this next part. The notice then states that the level and extent of the two games' key concept, genre, and storyline make it clear that Iron Mace must have used Nexon's trade secrets to create Dark and Darker. Uh, and again, both the concepts and storyline are purposely traditional and generic and can be found in many fantasy games, including pen and paper RPGs, which was one of the main inspirations for Dark and Darker. The premise of adventurers delving into dungeons full of monsters and treasures in their quest to seek riches is so generic and common that it can be broadly applied to numerous other fantasy games. Just for fun, we asked ChatGPT to come up with a description for a generic PvP dungeon crawling game that was created that created an eerily similar game description below. 
So, what and the then here's that description bro. that Chat P GPT came up with. What the actual The point fuck? of this was to showcase just how generic all of the content